Hey guys, it's Liz here. So, um, obviously I look like crap right now, but I'm basically just going to be taking you guys throughout my entire day today. Um, obviously we're in quarantine, so I figured I would just do a video of showing you guys like how I've been dealing with it and basically, um, yeah, basically how I've been dealing with it. So, um, I'm still in my pajamas in my room. But the first thing I always do when I wake up is I actually do my workout. So I'm about to change and then I'll take you guys downstairs and show you guys what I'm doing to work out. So I just finished my workout that you probably saw a clip of. Um, I couldn't get the whole thing because for some reason the first clip only recorded 10 seconds on my camera. So um, I did a couple workouts or like I did a couple different exercises before I realized that. Also I don't know how the lighting is right now but um, maybe that's better. I would be taking a shower right now except there's someone in the bathroom so I kind of have to wait until they get out. So I um, don't know how long that's going to be. But, um, I might, like, eat something really quick, like, probably, maybe a protein bar or, like, yeah, probably a protein bar or something. Um, and then once I shower and get ready, I'm going to the cemetery, um, with my grandma. And then once I come back, I will probably be recording more things. It's just, like, that I don't really want to record just because, you know, for personal reasons. Um, but I was thinking of doing, like something about like what I eat in a day maybe in this vlog as well um so I'll just show you whatever I eat and whatnot but right now one second right now I've just been drinking a lot of water uh, because I'm tired from my workout that was only half an hour long but it felt like forever and those burpees killed me at the end so by the way if you're wondering where I get my workouts from um, there's a fellow YouTuber, her name's Kylie Yeager, Ky Kylie, <laughs> Kelly Yeager, um, she is a personal trainer, and she makes guides, and she, I follow, I've been following her, um, at home guide right now, just because, you know, the gyms aren't open and stuff, and I'm actually at home back in New York, um, so I've been doing her at home guides, and they are killer, I'm on week five, and I've definitely noticed, like, strong arms and stuff, so, 
Anyway, someone just went out of the bathroom, so I'm about to go in and take a shower. So this is my outfit today. Um, my shirt, Victoria's Secret pink. Um, these are my mom jeans. These are from, I think, Hollister. Um, and then I just tucked my t-shirt into my bra. And then I'm just wearing some gray slip-on bands. And my hair is just in a bun. And I just put on mascara and did my eyebrows. So, that's today's outfit. I will let you guys know if I do anything fun. Hey guys, so I just got back from going to the cemetery with my grandma. Um, I'm about to, excuse me, I got Duncan too, if you can see it behind me. But um, yeah, I'm just about to do some work on my computer and then, I don't know, but if you guys want to see this, look, it's so windy outside right now. Um, it's really, like, the temperature is pretty nice, but it's just really windy outside, so. Yeah, uh, hopefully I get to take my dog on her walk later, because I know that she loves that, but. Hi. Okay, so, I have my Duncan and my package, and basically I'm about to just show you guys how I package stuff up when I sell something on Poshmark, which I've been doing a lot recently. So you can still see me. Um, which I've been doing a lot recently because I just realized that I have a lot of clothes and I don't even wear all of them. Um, I have a lot of workout stuff that I don't really wear. So um, all the stuff that I've posted on Poshmark, I keep in these little boxes under my bed. Um, gotta get them out though. And basically, like whenever I make a sale, on Poshmark I will just get the item that sold so for example I sold this like tan colored Nike sports bra um, it's super cute I really liked this I bought it because it was on sale and it was like I love sports bras but to be honest I just don't really wear it anymore um, so this is my little mailer I have literally just a plain white mailer I'll just make sure everything looks good it's all like nice and clean and obviously it's clean but um, just put it in the little mailer like so and then sometimes I'll put a little note in there like thank you for purchasing or whatever but I'm not going to this time just take this off and seal it and not sealed and then I just have to go print out the label and then tape it on and then if there's only like one or two packages I'll just put them in my mailbox and the mailman will take them the next day because they're already pre-labeled um, but like the other day I had like five or six packages to send out so I had to take them to the post office because they wouldn't all fit in my mailbox so um, once I print the label out for this I'll probably put it out either tonight or if I wake up I don't know if I'll wake up tomorrow before the mailman comes. <laughs> so I'll probably put it out tonight and just hopefully the mailman um, will take it in the morning. If he doesn't take it, then I'll have to take it to the post office tomorrow when I wake up. But yeah, basically that's just how I do my uh, Poshmark sales. Um, but yeah, if you guys have any questions about Poshmark or anything like that, definitely leave comments down below because... I have made so much sales, or I've made so much money off of selling my stuff on Poshmark. You guys have no idea. I've had a Poshmark since I was 12. And by the way, I'm 19 now. Um, so I've had it for seven years, and I've probably made like close to like six or seven hundred dollars off of selling my stuff on there. So if you guys are looking for a way to like get rid of stuff and make a little bit of money off of it, definitely try Poshmark, especially if you have name brand items. So Nike, Adidas, Lululemon, um, if you have purses, you don't even, like, if you have nice purses, like, Michael Kors or, you know, Coach or whatever, if you have those, you can sell those on there as well. I know Michael Kors sells pretty well, um, yeah, a lot of stuff, Kate Spade, all that sells really well on there, so, yeah, if you guys are looking for a place to sell your items, definitely sell them on Poshmark. The only thing I will say with Poshmark is they take 20% of your 
say help. Excuse me. Okay, so if it's less than $15, they take off $2.95, like regardless. But if it's more than $15, then they take off 20%. So yeah, um, that's the only thing. Uh, the seller, or you're the seller, so the buyer will pay for shipping. You get the shipping sent to your email, and um, yeah. There's like certain like sales you can do where you can give the option of free shipping, but then it would take it out of your earnings, so it's not always the best idea. But yeah, let me guys. If you guys have any questions about Poshmark, definitely leave them down below because I'm pretty experienced in Poshmark. Like I have a lot of experience using it and the do's and don'ts and everything. So yeah, I would definitely suggest. If you have any questions, you can definitely leave them down below. I'm pretty sure I also have like a $5 like referral thing that they have for like everyone. So if you guys want a free $5 when you sign up, definitely I'll put it in the description. You can click the link down there and you get $5 off your first order. I'm like 95% sure. It's not an affiliate link or anything. It's just like they have that as you're like, ref like everybody gets one once they make an account. So yeah, um, so that's this package. I'll probably figure out something else to film for you guys. So I'm back and I tried to think of things to film for the rest of this video just because it's like been totally random and pretty like all around. I haven't really been doing much today so I figured I would show you guys um, a little like tiny tiny mini haul of the things I got from Balance. Um, yeah, I bought, I got these like probably a week ago, but I'm super obsessed. So if you guys don't know, Balance is an athletic wear company. Um, they're based out of Colorado. They're basically like a, just a really good athletic wear company. Um, I have now three pairs of leggings and a pair of joggers. And I'm really, I really love the joggers. I really like the leggings. So I shopped there over stock and I got two new pairs of leggings. Um, their overstock are a bit of items that are a little bit cheaper, that they just have too many of, they want to get rid of them, so, yes, if you guys are looking to buy items from there and you need, you need them a little bit cheaper, they're not too much cheaper, but just a little bit, shop their, um, overstock items. But anyways, so these are the two pair of leggings I got. I got these ones, yes, I was right, these are the OG pants in the color intuition they this is probably like my absolute favorite color right now it's just this really pretty mauve it like matches my pants if you can see that i don't know if you can see that anyways it like matches my pants i'm so obsessed with these my favorite part about the balance leggings is this part this is the back um and the butt part right here it like goes down to the curve of your back your lower back to like right to the top of your butt and I really like the little like design on the back. It's just a triangle. I think that's so cute and simple. Not that like the sign on the back really matters, but I hope the lighting is good right now because I have it behind me. But yeah, I really like these leggings. They're really soft and like buttery, like that kind of material. Um, so I really hope that I can wear these soon. But yeah, these are like really soft. I really like them. So they just look like that. And I'll, these are in a size medium, by the way. The other pair of leggings I got are the Ascend Pants. Um, and these are in the shade Dawn. They just look like this. The difference between, sorry, I got Snapchats. <laughs> the difference between the Ascend Pants and the OG Pants are the OG Pants are a little bit more buttery, kind of like the, not exactly like the Lululemon Pants, but like similar to those. And these are more of like a spandex material. Same with the other uh, balance leggings I have. Those are those are also Ascend pants, so they're a little bit more spandexy, made better for like active wear or like cardio and stuff like that. But I really like both of these colors. I thought it was funny that I got pink, like both like I mean these are more like coral, but I got two pairs of pink leggings and I like don't have any pink leggings, so I think it's funny that they're both like pink or like at least like not normal black and you know, the dark colors that I normally wear for leggings, but yeah, I really like these. I think that I'm going to get, also these are a size medium as well. I think I'm going to get a lot of use out of both of these just because I have been working out a lot recently. If you guys watched the earlier part of this video where I was working out, um, yeah, I will definitely link both of these down below if I can remember them.